Hello guys, in this tutorial we're going to make a pause button in the small pause menu. And what I'm going to do now is to import some stuff. And that stuff is a text, is a font in the a button that I made. And we're so that we can make a, a little bit of self publicity. Anyways, here in the canvas, I'm going to right click on the canvas UI and go on to text and I'm going to make that text B with this font over here and I'm going to put here I I and this will be our pause button I'm going to put it here in the top like so and then I'm going to name it pause button and now I'm going to also create a panel so canvas UI panel and this will be the panel related to the pause menu and I'm going to put this panel behind the pause button and in front of everything else so over here I can see the pause button is in front and I'm going to put this panel black and with some alpha like so so that you can see whatever is behind it and right now it has these little weird edges but I can leave it like that um, anyways, now we're going to program the pause button. So here in the pause button, let's add a component, new script, pause button. And with this button, what we're going to do is change the time scale. So what I want to do is whenever the button is pressed, so void pressed. And this will basically be a toggle. If the time is something, then the time goes zero, it goes to zero. If the time is zero, it goes to something. So I'm going to create here a float, which will be the current time scale. Scale. And the way I'm going to do it is if the button is pressed, we're going to check check if the time dot time scale. Oops equals zero meaning that you're if you are already in the pause mode then I want the time dot time scale to be equal to that thing over here. We could put here one float which was with time scale of one or two meaning it, the time goes twice as fast but I'm going to put that over there so that we can change it if we want to and this can actually be a, a for instance, a sheet that makes the, the game go faster, you know, that, that's a way to do it. Else, if the time scale isn't zero, then I want to make the time scale equal to zero. Time scale equals zero. And that's pretty good. Uh, one thing that I want to do is to first capture whatever what's the current time scale so here in the start I want to make the current time scale equal to whatever the time scale is and what I also want to do is to bring this panel over here to the front to whenever we pause the game and I'm going to name this panel something like pause uh, screen something like that so that we can actually put buttons in the panel and whatnot so create your we have to create here a reference for the panel, so using unity engine.ui and I'm going to put the panel on and off. So I'm going to put here a public game object, public game object, pause menu, and the what I what I want to do is to first if if we haven't set it yet. I want to set this to be uh, inactive, so set active to be false. And what this does is that it unchecks this little check mark over here, so that we can see we can't see it. And now I want to make it active here whenever we make the game pause. True, and I want to make it. 
false whenever we pause the game uh, whenever we start the game again so hit save and I forgot the parentheses over there save and we are almost set up one last thing that we need to do is to make this pause button actually be a button because right now oops I'm going to change it to white so that we can see it better okay and like I said this pause button right now it isn't a button but I'm going to make it so so all I have to do is to go into add component event event trigger add new event type and it can be pointer down meaning whenever we click with our with our mouse and we tap with our finger and what we want to do is to add a new event and what that event is is calling this function over here the pressed function so we have to drag a pause button into here Going to the pause button script and call the pressed function. Oh, this function can, has to be clicked in order for us to see it there. So, public over here, save, and now you can actually see it over here. So, pause button pressed. And also, we have to drag it to here the pause screen, so like so. And now, if I hit play, this should be should disappear. As you can see, we are we are playing the game, and if I click the pause button, we can see that we are on the pause menu. And if I click it again, we go back to the game. And now it, I'm going to I'm going to actually put here a button that will redirect to this to the playlist that we have that you are watching this video on. So right click on pause screen UI button and this button appears in the center and we're going to change this YouTube button thing just like we did with this orange button a while ago so let's click on the button make sure this is like this sprite editor and in the sprite editor just put this in here so that as you, so that we can configure the button correctly and it changes correctly according with screen size like so apply and you can also change the pivot but that's not really recommended apply close and click on the button and here drag this into the UI sprite and as you can see it's a bit too big you can barely see the red part so here just change the pixels per unit to something bigger so say 200 apply oops and now you can see it's better and you can actually I'm going to actually put a bit more like so and hit apply and that's okay that seems fine I need to make the bit in the, the big, a bit bigger and the text inside the button will be of the that font that we imported so drag it into here and I'm going to also put whatever it says in white so white and I'm going to put here learn to make this game and now whenever I click this button I want to go to a, a URL and because this is a, a function that you can, may implement in several buttons I'm going to create it in the buttons master so in the buttons master uh, script so here in the buttons master I have this script over here I'm going to create here a function called go to URL public void go to URL and it has a, uh, and it has a parameter called site and the way that you can access a site through unity is by doing application dot open URL and then here the URL sites okay like so really simple all we have to do now is put this in our button make this function and to do that just go into, uh, into the button and here when you, on the on click click on the plus find the button master and drag it there where it says no function go to the button master and go to URL and now here we want to this is a field that it is passed on to the function and here I want to put the 
the link for the playlist so so I just navigated to the first video of the playlist and I have now the link so that's the link of it this whole thing and that's basically done now let me show that this is working cor correctly so let's hit play and everything is working fine and if I want to see the pause menu bam I see the pause menu and if I click here the button you'll see that will bring me to the first okay. video anyways that's it for today guys thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial